Okay, in this video we're going to uh, explain a little bit about what uh, the orifice tube does within the system. Uh, the orifice tube is where we have another pressure change in the AC system. We have the compressor which goes from a low pressure to high pressure and then we have the orifice tube which goes from a high pressure to a low pressure. Um, I have one right here that I'd like to show you. Uh, here it is. I don't know if you can see that okay. but. Um, uh, this one happens to be a, a color of, 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 um, of white, you know, so I'm referring to the top half of this thing, and, and they are color coded. So, um, and what that color represents is, if you can see the copper tube within, inside of there, if you see that, that is what, there's a hole in the end of that copper tube that's where the refrigerant passes through. That's the only way it can get from one side of this valve to the other. And depending on the color of the orifice tube will determine the size of that orifice or how large that hole is for refrigerant to pass through. So, which is real important. If you pull a white one out, you want to put a white one back in. If you pull a white one out and you put a yellow one or a blue one or a green one back in, you're going to have issues with the AC system. You're not going to get it to operate as it was designed. So make sure that, that you do put the same color back in. The other thing that's on here, and let's see if we can get that into focus, there's a little arrow right there. You see that little arrow? That's a direction of flow. That's what that represents. So if I were to put this in the system, and it says it needs to flow this way, well, if I put this in the system, I need to make sure that I put it in where the arrow is pointing in the direction of flow. In most cases you can't install these in backwards, but in the event that you can, you know, you don't want to do that. Not that it won't work, it'll probably still work just fine, but um, because the orifice is the orifice. But what, what you can um, do is possibly damage this end that's not designed for the high pressure um, because of the screen system that's on here. There is a screen, as you can see, all the way around this. We have more volume of screen here than we do on this end. Reason why is any debris coming into the system that gets here has a larger surface area to get inside the screen to get into the tube uh, in the event that there's a lot of debris. If I had this side only, as my debris trap, it would fill up very quickly and now we're restricting the flow through the orifice tube. So we have more surface area here for the refrigerant to pass through. Um, in the event that there's a catastrophic failure in the AC system, well most of the, comp most of the uh, debris you will find at this location right here. Okay? So if you do have something fail, and in most cases it's a compressor, that's the only really moving component in this whole system here. If it starts to come apart or pieces are starting to degrade and, and, and get transferred into the system via uh, the refrigerant carrying it, then that, that debris will be carried through the condenser itself all the way to the orifice tube and at that point it'll get trapped in the screen. So, if you remove a compressor on a car because it needs to be replaced because of internal damage, you need to make sure that you go to the orifice tube and remove it as well so that you can uh, get rid of this and replace it with a new one uh, because of all the debris buildup on here. The other thing is if you're not sure that you have an internal failure going on with the system, this is a pretty good easy place to go see if there if this compressor is failing on the vehicle. If you pull this this little guy out, this orifice tube out, and you find it full of aluminum pieces or any kind of Teflon material, anything foreign, anything other than liquid, meaning oil, if there's a lot of debris on there, it's coming from someplace. And the only place that can really be coming from is right here, that compressor. So there you go. Make sure you put the right color in and you make sure you put it in the right direction. All right.